Hello and welcome to the next installment of Asset Optimization Consultants' vlog series on risk-based inspection. My name is Viva Zaman and I'm a Senior Corrosion Specialist here at Asset Optimization. This presentation will focus on corrosion control documents or CCDs. The first edition of API 970, which provides the recommended practice for developing, implementing, and monitoring CCDs, was first issued in 2017. But CCDs have been used long before that by processing facilities to help manage the mechanical integrity of pressure piping and equipment. The objectives of the presentation are to provide information on what is a CCD, the key components of a CCD, the CCD development and implementation process, and some of the benefits of having a CCD. So what is a CCD? A CCD can be a document, a repository, or a system. The information can reside in a report, in separate folders, or electronically. And it contains all the necessary information required to understand materials damage susceptibility issues in a processing facility. The key components of a CCD can be divided into three categories. The first category, unit, process, and materials, includes information on the unit, such as when the unit was constructed, details on major revamp or expansion projects, and the process description. Process stream compositions, including corrosive species, operating conditions, including normal and non-standard operations, and a corrosion materials diagram, or a CMD, also fall into the category. According to API 970, a CMD is a modified process flow diagram or database list containing operating conditions, materials of construction, piping systems or circuits, and relevant damage mechanisms. The second category of key components to a CCD includes information on corrosion and damage concerns. This consists of information regarding damage mechanisms, along with listings of injection and mix points, dead legs that require special monitoring, and alloy spec breaks or bimetallic welds that require special monitoring. The robustness of a CCD depends on the complexity of the process unit, as well as the risk associated with the process, and it's up to the plant owner user to determine the level of detail to include within their CCDs. The third category of information included in a CCD is informative and preventative. This includes information used to prevent, control, monitor, or manage damage mechanisms such as integrity operating windows. It also includes specific maintenance concerns such as soda ash washing to, to neutralize polythionic acids during shutdowns, welding precautions, or special equipment handling requirements such as minimum pressurization temperatures to prevent brittle fracture damage. A listing of significant failures, repairs, and replacements due to damage mechanisms experienced should also be included. Here's an example of a CCD development and implementation process from API 970. The table illustrates that the process requires a knowledgeable and experienced multidisciplinary team. Maintaining consistency and in integrating the CCD with other plan integrity programs, such as MOCs, PHAs, and RCM is also essential. Integrating CCDs with existing mechanical integrity programs such as RBI studies and IOW programs with the CCD process is also required since these programs have significant overlap with CCDs. Training of personnel and periodic review of the CCD should also be performed. In summary, a CCD is a living document or depository of information which contains or provides links to a wide variety of information needed to manage pressure equipment integrity. CCDs are a valuable addition to an effective MI program since they help identify damage mechanism susceptibilities and recommend actions to mitigate the risk of loss of containment or unplanned outages. You can find more information on CCDs on our website at www.aocorp.com. Thank you for watching.